Hey everyone, welcome to Patreon Q&A number one. I want to start off this video by saying thank you to the 10 patrons over on my Patreon page, and if you're unfamiliar with my Patreon page, I post various tips for how you can improve as a Clone Hero player, including free ones, so it's worth checking out even if you don't plan on pledging. But let's get right into it. Rez asks, do you have any tips for charting or composing? Now, I'm definitely not the right guy to talk to about composition, but I do have a tip for charters. Now, of course, this is my personal opinion and should only really be taken as that, but that opinion is this. Making your charting style stand out to those around you can work towards making your overall presentation as a charter more unique, and therefore more interesting as a result. Take my Cry for the Dark chart, for instance. In comparison to the other charts of the song that exist, mine is definitely wildly different. Even disregarding the orange wall meme raking sections, I make heavy use of chorded grace notes in some areas to dictate a slid note, or extend a sustain shenanigans towards the second half of the chart. This is my personal style, and it makes that specific chart iconic enough to come back to for certain players. As for how you can go about refining your own style, ask yourself what you want from your charts. Do you want them to be regarded as extremely accurate? Do you want them to have replay value to top players? Decide what you want most out of the public reaction to your style and work backwards from there to see what you need to do to achieve that. Quick editor's note, because I like this question. A way my own charting style differs from others in the community is my heavy use of trills during whammied sustains in a song. I use them constantly, and I think it adds a fun extra element to the playability of my charts. Octofree asks, What are some good charts for learning trip and quad patterns, i.e. quad trip zigs, quad trip chimneys, etc.? I've said it a hundred times and I will say it once more, Marathon by Schmutz06 is the best chart on the market right now for learning every single type of tapping pattern out there. The warm-up section of the song alone covers all forms of trips, all forms of quads, anchor changing, situational method bodging, zigzags, transitions, consistency, patience, and pattern dexterity, all within the first four minutes of the song. The rest of the chart covers more complex portions of the tapping skill set, such as transitioning off strumming, sweeps, ladders, extremely complicated methods, and pretty much everything else you could possibly want for an introduction to tapping. The only skill set that the song doesn't really work is raking and slide tapping, which isn't something most players will ever have to worry about. Jacob Finch asks, Have you noticed any new and upcoming players in the Clone Hero community? I've noticed tons of new players, of course, though instead of listing them all off, I'll just put a playlist in the description that's full of underrated FCs in the community, featuring tons of underrated members of the community. Do you play any rhythm games outside of Clone Hero? The only rhythm game outside of Clone Hero that I play is Osu on the occasion, just because it's very nice for practicing my aim in other games. Other than that, not really, no. What's your method on hitting quints and quint zigs? Quints are pretty much just quads with sliding, so for the tapping hand input, you'll be holding green with your fretting index and fretting a zig with all four fingers of your tapping hand. Then once fully let go, a fretting index slide up to red, a quad zig fretting input for the remaining frets, and a slide back to green. The most important part is doing the tapping input as fast as possible to allow for more time for the fretting inputs. What is the hardest pattern you've come across? This is a very subjective question, though the single section that's given me the most trouble out of every chart that I've ever played is what more effort sounds like solo 2D. For the most part, standard patterns don't really give me much trouble anymore, as I've played Guitar Hero for at the very least 14,000 hours over the past 13 years, but that specific section is A, the last thing that's separating a full effort series FC from me, and B, something I've only hit one time, that alone taking weeks of effort, and I haven't been able to replicate that since, which easily makes it harder than Message to Blue for me, which I've hit around 4 quadrillion times at this point. Sorry for the short video, but for the moment, that's all the questions I've got. If you've got a question for you that you want to answer in the next one of these, consider becoming a patron as it helps support me and by proxy this channel quite a lot. And if you'd like to support me, the editor and thumbnail artist for Frost, consider following me on Twitch. It's free to do so and you'd be contributing to my 2020 goal of hitting a thousand followers by year's end. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think of my editing style. I want to know your feedback and what I can improve on.